Well, hello, my friends, and welcome to the Live Inspired Podcast, Monday Moments with John O'Leary. We create these quick bursts of inspiration to help start your week on fire and in awe with possibility. I had several posts sent to me through Facebook and Twitter and Instagram sharing a picture that Michelle Schombach, she is being treated at age 65 at the Cleveland Clinic, and it was a picture of her on a snowy day recovering and mending while dealing with cancer, looking out the window of her eighth floor room, and outside it's snowy. There's a park between two sets of trees. There's a beautiful ribbon drawn into the snow. And then there are three words. The three words are these. Mom, be brave. It's frigid outside. It's snowing outside. And Michelle's daughter went outside in a snowstorm knowing that her mother was struggling, carved that love letter into the park, texted her dad who walks over to her mother who has her look out the window. And now there's this picture that we will have on our show notes of Michelle pointing out the window with this smile on her face of the encouragement of a daughter's love. It's a cool picture. It's a great story. It reminds not only Michelle, but every other patient at the Cleveland Clinic as they look out the window that they're not alone, that there's reason for hope and hope matters. Hope helps healing. Hope changes lives. And when I was a little boy, this story triggered it within me something somewhat similar. My brother Jim was frequently a typical older brother to me. He wasn't wild when I would follow him around. He wasn't wild when I wanted to hang out with his friends and him. He wasn't wild when I tried to act and talk and be just like him. He was never wild when I would steal his guitar and try to play it as a little kid. And yet the day I was burned, Jim O'Leary changed profoundly. He became my hero, quite literally saved my life. And later on that year, he was nominated and the recipient of the Missouri Lifesaver of the Year Award. So Jim's a hero. But after a surgery in the summer of 1987 for me, I was at home recovering in pain, beat down by life. Just kind of beat down, man. I'm now 10 years old, but I'm struggling. I'm still at home. I still don't have fingers. I'm not sure if they're ever going to grow back. They haven't yet. Um, I'm not sure if I'll ever really be able to walk again or jog again or run again or play again or be a normal little guy again. And now I'm back in the hospital bed after yet another surgery, and I'm sad. And I hear the lawnmower outside. It turns on for a moment. It doesn't take quite as long as normal. Then it turns off. A moment later, I hear footsteps downstairs, then footsteps coming up the steps. Then my door open up into my bedroom, and I see my brother Jim at the door. He walks over to me. He's kind of sweaty and grimy. There's grass clippings on him. He says, hey, I got to show you something out the window, John. So he gets me out of bed. He walks with me tenderly over to the back window. We look outside and letters carved into the grass. And the letters are H-I space J-O-H-N. And as a little boy, I know it sounds so small. It sounds so stupid. Even saying these words right now, I'm like, why is that so moving? I almost cried saying that. When I was a 10-year-old boy looking out the window at grass that had been growing for way too long, Jim finally goes out there and he starts to cut it. But before he does, he wants to write a love letter to his little brother upstairs recovering from his burn experience. Hi, John. Jim probably doesn't remember that day. I promise you none of our neighbors remember that day. I promise you my mom and dad never even knew it happened because shortly after he showed me that, he guided me back to bed, tucked me back in, and then cut the rest of the backyard so no one else even knew. But here it is 33 years after that short little love letter. I haven't forgotten. Encouragement matters, my friends. On this Monday morning, I'm asking you right now to think about one person in your life that you can encourage it doesn't necessarily need to be a Hall of Fame crystal baseball. Maybe it is. I don't know. Maybe that's your style. It doesn't necessarily need to be a big old check. Maybe it is. I don't know. Maybe that's your style. It doesn't necessarily need to be a long handwritten note. Maybe it should be, though. But simple encouragement, a pat on the back, a door held open, 
a few letters carved into the backyard or into the snow outside of a hospital can make a profound difference for those of us struggling. My friends, you are called on this Monday morning to be a champion for somebody else. Don't let this day pass without making a difference for someone else. And if you're not sure where to start, consider starting with a reflection in the mirror. My friends, my name is John O'Leary, and this is your day. Live Inspired. Live Inspired.